Trout cooks really quickly and it's quite reasonably priced, so I turn to it a lot when I'm looking for a quick and really nutritious meal. And then, if you season it with a little bit of Mexican chorizo, it really becomes a special meal that's, well, worthy of company. So I'm gonna show you one of my favorite dishes here that starts off with a little of this fresh Mexican chorizo. I'm gonna take out of its casing and put into a skillet. Put that over a kind of medium heat here. I'm gonna let that cook until it begins to brown. That'll take about eight or 10 minutes. Now while this chorizo is cooking, I'm gonna slice up an onion, a red onion for this. Now my chorizo didn't release very much oil here and I'm gonna need some for cooking that onion. So I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of oil. You could use vegetable oil or olive oil for this. Then scoop in those sliced onions. I'm gonna sprinkle on a little bit of sugar. And I'm gonna let these cook until they have softened nicely, those onions have, and have begun to brown. Onions are looking very good there. I've got a special touch for the flavoring of this dish. Dark Mexican beer. And the maltiness that you get in that beer just pairs beautifully with the sweetness now of the onions and the chorizo sausage. Put about a cup full of beer in there to underscore the deep richness I'm looking for. I'm gonna add a couple of teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Give it a nice sprinkling of salt. And I'm gonna let this cook until the liquid has almost completely reduced. While the liquid is reducing here, I'm gonna chop some cilantro because I think that will be a, a nice fresh flavor to put in it. I'm gonna chop this whole bunch in my typical style of doing it, which is to bunch up the leaves and then start slicing across the cilantro. So it's not really chopping as much as it's slicing here and slicing all the way until we run out of most of the leaves there. Move that over. This will go to our compost. I'm gonna take about half of this cilantro and sprinkle it over the onions and chorizo mixture. It's time to cook the trout fillets, but I don't want this to get cool. So I'm gonna put it into a baking dish and put it into the oven, just set on the lowest temperature there. I'm gonna wipe out this nonstick pan and use it to cook the trout fillets. Heating it up over about a medium heat with a little olive oil, just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. Open up this package. Spread out the trout fillets so that I can sprinkle them with just a little bit of salt here. And then when the oil is hot, I'm gonna lay the trout fillets in. I think that our trout fillets are probably ready now. Nicely golden. I'm gonna sprinkle some black pepper over the top of the fillets here and they're ready to put on a serving platter.